Hi Pisces, you're the third. What does it mean? It means that in my monthlies last month, you had the third amount of clicks. So guess what? You're getting here, third red. So this is the recipe for success. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and hence, you know, you get your reading faster. So for the new ones, uh, newbies who actually never been in this reading, these cards are significators. They simply uh, are going to be the chapter of the category. They are not being read. And they're going to give me the category that I need to know. So this category here is going to go, what is going on for this relationship, if it's ever a starter. This one here, eh, we need to glue this, him, her, or it could be the other way around because it's general energy in between, communication, etc. What is karma saying about it and the next steps? So if any messages come for you that you feel is connecting with your situation, it's a general reading. So you will really need to check your ascendant, you'll check your moon sign in order to get kind of like more messages together. Because in general reading you get here and there tidbits. To get a private reading, contact me at ketero.ca. So let's start guys. Let's start. What is in a Pisces? coming up for this month so this is really ideal for people for example you really want your ex to come back or you know you're wondering what they're thinking maybe you you can't be back for one reason or the other but you're really wondering if there are still feelings because the bond is still not broken but this is not for the people who for example don't want ex back or you have been told to walk away and if that bond is like still in you you have to really work on it and it will be a good time to get one of my uh, karma readings at this time so hi matrix you got a visit i didn't get my furry visitors in a while so this is cute to know okay so let's go pisces and since you're the third one i'm also checking the cards that are kind of jumping so that would be you sweet pisces and you felt it was something really innocent and the situation involved marriage uh whether or not uh you wanted to be married or they were married or you are married or you know something has been very serious it hasn't been even though this card can say it could have been just you know a fluke kind of a thing the other card says no this could have been very very serious kind of a thing so that's going to be really really interesting so let's move on pisces pisces for july is your ex coming back okay page of pentacles reversed Four of Pentacles, it kind of like looks to me that somebody was moving so slow and you were their bright star. This whole idea is, and I think that's what you're resenting, you, you went out of your way to accommodate this person. You almost like bend yourself around them. I mean, the sun card is so powerful, it's so optimistic. You had such high hopes about that. Maybe even to relieve you from a situation you were at, but it almost looks like, because um, this card is really bridge over troubled waters and six of swords, and then you have queen of swords over here. There was lots of people involved here, yeah. Queen of Swords, King of Cups reversed. I really think that somebody wanted and then they couldn't and then they didn't want and then they lied about it. This is going to be the short and sweet kind of a thing. And since you're so sweet, it was not easy to bark at you and say, I don't want to just leave me alone kind of a thing. It didn't work this way. It kind of really... <sighs> feels that you have been terrorized where is my angry unicorn so you know this ugh, this king of cups dude here that is showing up in karma is like this sweetheart just like you you thought yeah this is not banana it's a horn uh you you felt you met your soulmate kind of like the stuff i'm going to make a little mohawk on him right and then you know you 
you think you're rolling in the same direction, right? You think you know how wind is blowing and, you know, like you're holding his, you know, head or her head in your arms and say, okay, so, you know, I'm so excited. Like, I mean, you're already like putting down your dreams and then you really see their real personality, right? And this is kind of like what you're left with the Chinese toy that doesn't work properly. You felt broken. You felt like, where is this person that I met? This sweet person. And, and I really think it was a mismatch of energy. It came something really harsh. It was like very sizzling. This could have been something very sexual, but it looks like it has been just cut off. It has been cut off. You might have been dealing with a water sign or air sign and has been cut off because they, they just like were in a situation where I just couldn't move forward. Whenever the eight of swords shows up, look at it, it's like blindfolded woman. She's all tied up. And we know that nobody is keeping her hostage she can wiggle out of that whatever scarf and remove this blindfold but she's not doing that why is that because at that point they cannot do that so the hierophant card that showed up it came through because it could be somebody married it could be that um, their view of how to resolve situation is not maybe as easy going as you look at it right it could have been that they <laughs> they haven't shared to you is it possible all this complexity given that like karma is saying beware of this person that's exactly what karma is saying it could have been a um, family situation it could have also involved money guys to be honest with you um, you know when when is a time to make such a big jump as I can see here we make this jump when we feel secure Women take more risks than men, <laughs> contrary to the uh, unpopular opinion. And when they leave, let's say, set relationships and marriages, they leave them for good. Men don't make big risks like that. And they're a little devastated if they leave it and something doesn't pan out. So hence they start to panicky. And that's why you will see many men also before the wedding, oh, I don't know if she's right for me. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I was sitting next to the boss who was like marrying the girlfriend he lives for five years and he's still wondering, oh, for God's sake, dude, shut up. You know, poor girl, I wish I could tell her that. Like I meant to find somebody else who's maybe more mature. No, I digress. Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. You really want to marry this person. You, you were presenting yourself as a marriage material. You, you're presenting yourself as established. And maybe this is the problem because I really don't think that they are that established as they wanted you to believe. They had two choices. Clearly, the two choices were there. I don't know. It looks like children everywhere. Maybe you have children. Maybe he or she has children. And somebody just walked away. There is like this walking away quality here. You know... Guys, sometimes you wonder, oh, I should have done that or should have done that. And I was doing that. Why he or she didn't do that? People kind of go through these motions. Well, I just want to set something really clear to you that you were trying to build something. You were trying to form some unit and be somebody's rock. But this whole relationship was not having that function in a universal manner. In the universal matter was looking for this person. This person was needing to clarify something in their own head. And it's basically, you know what they say, poo or get off the pot. And I don't know really what they did, but they didn't do what you expected them to do. But this relationship, you shouldn't have any regrets that you could have done something different, that you should have done something different, any sort of things like that. You need to be proud of yourself with how you handle yourself because this is clearly showing here as well. Um, there was no possibility here to build uh, the third party. Uh, somebody here was stuck. Somebody here was stuck. And the best part was it doesn't look like, you know, there have been some lies at some point or this king of cups has this quality of it's a person who tells you I want that and I can't wait to do that and I can't wait to have it and I love you so much 
and then they don't really their actions doesn't follow it and that's why you feel devastated that's why you are let's say saying oh yeah yeah we are going to leave our spouses and then you leave your spouse and they don't and they say well you know I, I was just you know fantasizing just like Jesus right kind of a things and that's what I see over right here and just want you to know that I don't see any karma cards yet over here which is interesting which is also good it tells me that if anything things might heal you know there is like this person who is finding themselves to be a victim and he or she is like yeah there is this family situation um, if you really want to know what they think about you they think about you they think about you with kindness they think about of your kindness they think about but mostly they think about themselves how bad the life have handed the deck of cards to them why am i getting these things you have been dealing with a freaking loser over here sorry to say right because look at this this is just like a fantasy over here you have such exuberant energy but like now I, I really think that you're going to sit after this reading and I'm going to take this entertainment and I'm, frankly I really don't like people who come on my channel for entertainment because there are like many other you know what they call it pop terror channels for that this is a healing channel over here and you know this is almost like a lesson after which you need to take a homework and homework is to sit and meditate for at least five minutes and absorb this message or even better get your own reading and be able to absorb much more and really see what you have to learn out of it because you are actually getting a gift out of this relationship that the very next relationship for you is going to be spectacular if you lose however hope if this person shook you down so much that this hope the star is affected and you really need to focus entirely on your own healing you need to focus the direction in you're going to because you're getting this lovely lovely card but look at these now they're like two twos which is talking about mm, which way to go and sometimes that energy can get us stuck we get to spin in circles to some extent you really want to move forward with this person but this person is doing the same thing you wanted them to change. So this is a food for thought. Can you re-engage with them? Absolutely. Should you? No. You guys, you were hesitant even moving forward with this person in the first place. So when you didn't move forward, you may forward, uh, you move forward hook, line, line and sinker. So why is it that you want to go back to that like is it you who walked away like you know look at this eight and eight like there is like a lack of commitment over there and yet there is a commitment to somebody else so this whole issue karma issue is about commitment and that's what basically need to be done over here so basically this is a really harsh lesson to hear and to learn i get that but if anything else is understanding like this life is hard and in this life we have to be adults we have to understand our own actions and their consequences and as part of this consequence because like you have six and you have a six and you have a soulmate card so clearly even though i didn't get the single karma card i can see the connection that you're still feeling really uh, involved in it and that is really important so you need to figure out what is the healthy love and what is unhealthy love and do not stay in unhealthy love and do not engage and don't feel guilty about that because you did all that you could and if it wasn't returned to you well basically shame on them that's all i can say so Pisces, if this resonated please like share subscribe love your comments would like to hear um Ketera.ca if you want your private reading it might not be even similar because your private energy is different combination and don't forget to check your ascendant check your moon sign and check your of course you're checking most likely your sun sign here as well
For cross watchers, the same thing. It's really important with general reading to get all these little details. Thank you guys, Pisces. Big hug. You really need a hug right now. But you're going to very soon get all these things being revealed to you, which made you still somehow connected and being in this like bubble because you're going to realize the secrets this person had very soon in this month. So love you guys and all the best.